Yo, thanks guys. You guys are the best. Hey, look at this. We got an I-8 on the freeway. Those rims are pretty sick, bro. Yeah. What is up guys? We are back making another video. We're starting this one out on the freeway, so I apologize if the wind is a little loud. But look at this guys. Every time I have to ride somewhere or go do something that's a little farther than 20 minutes from my house, it looks like it's just gonna pour on me. Like look at how insane this looks. Like the sun is out, the sky is out, and look at the clouds up here. Once we pass under this bridge, just these clouds look gnarly. They're just, again, it's like the video the other day. These things are black. Like look at this, look at this. They're just passing over the mountains again, so I'm getting nervous because that's not far from where I'm going. So for any of you guys wondering where I am going, I'm actually on my way to Go AZ in Scottsdale, Go AZ Motorcycles, uh, to get some things finalized and uh, just mapped out for tomorrow's big event. Uh, for us moto vloggers, guys, like I mentioned in other videos, it's going to be uh, Cruise and Moto. Ride Clutch is going to be there with their giveaway bike. Lauren's going to be there. I'm going to be there. And just a bunch of motorcycle people, guys. It's going to be a good time. They're going to have DJ, uh, a bunch of food trucks, and again, motorcycles. So, guys, make sure to show up to Go AZ Motorcycles in Scottsdale. Uh, it's actually tomorrow, March 14th. Uh, the flyer's been on the screen, so make sure to note that it is going to be a fun time, everybody. So anyway, I am probably about, I am blinking as well. I need to fill up on some gas, but we always send it. I wanna say I'm probably about 10 minutes or so from Go AZ, maybe less. So I am going to take a break from the vlogging on the freeway and talk to you guys in two seconds. All right, guys, update. I am probably about five minutes from the dealership. And look at this. Look at the storm clouds, like just creeping over the mountains. I have a really bad feeling that I am going to be caught in that on my way home. Dude, that's sick. There's literally like a little, there's like a little stream of light shining through there. I don't think you can see it on the GoPro. It's like right there. So anyway, I'm gonna do my best to avoid that. Probably uh, not very likely, but we'll see what we can do. All right, guys, so we are stopping at Chevron really quick next to uh, Go Easy Motorcycles. We're still just a couple minutes out, but you guys can see that storm is looking pretty crazy. Uh, I do apologize for the wind noise on the freeway. Let's go ahead and fill up with some gas really quick. All right, guys, gas is finished up here. Let's go ahead and close up the CBR, hop back on it, head to Go Easy, and I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Hey, man, just out of curiosity, do you guys wash motorcycles too? Uh -huh. Out of curiosity, do you guys wash and detail motorcycles as well? Oh, you do? Cool, I didn't know that. Good to know. Just had to ask, I was curious. Okay. Thanks man, have a good day. Uh oh, shoes untied. I really don't think he barely understood me, but I do think he understood the part where I asked if he washes and details motorcycles, and he did say yes, so Chevron, that's pretty sick. Yo, that car is messed up. Dang, bro. Looks like you just ran into a wall. I don't know if you guys saw that, hopefully you did. And then the note in the back window says something like, please don't tow. And then like an entire letter beneath it of the reasons why not to tow it. That's awesome. I would go back and film it, but I feel like I'd be creeping a little too much and people would be like, what are you doing? All right, so we are about two minutes out from the dealership now. It is literally just up around this uh, little roundabout up here. And hey, the really cool part about this meetup this morning is Ride Clutch will be there as well. I believe Derek and Tony are going to be there. So we got a couple people from Ride Clutch uh, meeting up this morning as well. That'll be super cool. We get to see Derek and his good old Mustang. He just got new like carbon fiber wrap done on that thing too, I'm pretty sure. So hopefully they drove the Mustang so I can check it out. But honestly, I think they they might have drove they might have drove the the good old Porsche today. I could be wrong, but I'm not sure. We're gonna send this little gap here. I apologize for that, sir, but I knew we could make it. All right, so we're gonna whip around the roundabout here. I was actually supposed to be at the dealership at nine. I showed up like 15 minutes early, but you know what? I guess it's better to be it's better to be early than show up late. I'm pretty sure. I really don't know where I should park, but we're gonna just find a spot. Another thing I have to do before the meet tomorrow is wash my motorcycle, honestly. Hey, there's the service department. Maybe they'll wash it for me. But yeah, the CBR is looking pretty uh, pretty dirty right now. It's not crazy dirty, but it is white. So um, when it rains on it, I feel like the dirt sticks to it and then it's just uh, it's just rough, honestly. Yeah, guys, so this is Goizy 
Motorcycles in Scottsdale. This is where the big event's gonna be going on tomorrow. This is pretty sick. Hey, they got a bunch of sport bikes out. Let's go take a look at them really quick. Yo, they got CBRs, they got everything, dude. Don, this is like yours, bro. Kind of, yeah, just a different color. That's pretty sick, all kinds of stuff. But yeah, guys, definitely come out tomorrow and you can check all this stuff out. They have everything. Pretty sick. There's a Panigale V4S, yo. They got it all. They got it all. All right, anyway, guys, I'm gonna take my helmet off for just a minute, uh, meet up with these people, put my hat on, and I'll talk to you guys in a second, hopefully before that rain pours on me. All right, guys, so we just had our tour at uh, Go AZ Motorcycles, and Ride Clutch is here as well. Baby boy, Derek. Follow him on Instagram, Tony as well. Follow him on Instagram, follow Ride Clutch on Instagram. They brought me a present, look at this. So guys, there's a link in the description. Wait, do you guys have these on the website already? The mystery boxes? Yes, but they will be. They will be, okay. So click the link in the description, guys, to check out Ride Clutch. They are giving away, what year is the motorcycle? 2018. 2017. 2017. Oh, there you go. Plus five grand. So click the link in the description, guys. I feel like it's Christmas, dude. Here we go. Okay, I gotta figure out how to fit this in my in my bag, bro. Yo, dude, I have to put. Dude, maybe I should just remove this, bro, and put this on. Yeah, we just get Dude, this is pretty sick, bro. Feel like it's been a while, so I wanted to make sure we. Well, I'll be rocking half this stuff in like music videos and everything, dude. So. By the way, there's the one more thing that we didn't throw in there. Ooh, dude, bro. Guys, thanks so much. Like, legit, this is super sick, though. So, are you guys selling these now, too, or what? Bro, you guys have everything at this point. Literally have everything. Oh, yeah, the shift covers. Heck, yeah, bro. I still have that on my FZ. I couldn't fit it on this because of this stupid aftermarket uh, lever, bro. So, I will fully, like, take everything out when I get home and look at the designs, but... Got some pop sockets. You guys got socks, too? What is this guy here? You should open that up. Yeah, you should take that I should open this up. I saw a couple shirts in there for Lauren. I'm trying to take a guess at what this is. I gotta take a guess. Do I already have one? Already have one? Mm. <laughs> it's like a wallet of some sort or something? It is a wallet, bro. Yo. Dude, that's so sick, though. Bro, this is gonna be the one I'm gonna start using now. Yeah. <laughs> Got a rep, rep clutch on it. You saw it here first. I know, dude. This is so sick. So is all of this in here already on the website or no? For the most part? Everything in here is on the website, but the mystery box is... It's not yet. It's just like a care package. Okay. And um, was there anything you wanted to say about the mystery box? Like, anything special about it when it drops? We're only doing a limited run up front because we wanted to make sure that we that we had the ability to make it really special for everyone. So, $75 on the site. We wanted to make sure there's anywhere between $100 and $150 in value in every box. We wanted to give people the ability to like, hey, they don't want to buy something fun. Or if they don't know what they want, yeah. it's like, hey... Get a box of everything. <laughs> Heck yeah, bro. Thanks, guys. You guys are the best. This is awesome. Thanks, bro. That's sick, dude. Oh, I like it. Christmas came early. So yeah, guys, make sure to show up to GoIZ tomorrow. Uh, what is it? The 14th. 12 to 4. We're all going to be here, including a bunch of other people. We're all going to be in the courtyard. Tents, DJ. On site? Oh my gosh, bro. First time he's gonna see the bike. We're picking up straight from the airport and bringing him here. Dude, that's gonna be so sick. I didn't know that. Okay, cool. So we got all kinds of stuff going on. All right, guys, drive safe home. I will see you guys around. See you tomorrow. All right, guys, so we are rolling out of Go AZ Motorcycles here in Scottsdale. And I'm actually honestly very, very surprised. I will say pleasantly surprised that the storm over there has not hit me yet. It's looking like I'm going to easily make it home safe. That Jeep looks angry uh, without the rain. But guys, huge shout out to Ride Clutch. Definitely click the link in the description to check out their stuff. They got some crazy stuff. And the best part about it is you get to buy the merch, keep the merch, and get entered to win an insane sport bike plus $5,000 cash while you're at it. So honestly, that's pretty insane. Um, I do not feel like waiting at this left turn forever, so I think I'm going to make a right. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. And of course, guys, while you're in the description, I got all kinds of other links in there. Uh, to Lauren's channel, to the Pack Talk that I use when I ride, best Bluetooth unit uh, for motorcycle helmets, in my opinion. And I also have links to the GoPro mounts I use for my helmets as well, for all you guys that ask. So definitely check those things out. So when I get home in a little bit here, my to-do list is getting this CBR nice washed and scrubbed down for the meet tomorrow. Uh, I would love to change the chain before tomorrow because it is rough uh, and it would look really nice 
nice having a brand new chain at the meet. However, I really don't think I'm going to have enough time, which honestly does kind of suck. Uh, it's not the end of the world. Uh, I also still need a new rear tire on this thing. Again, not the end of the world, but it'd be nice if I had all that before the meet. But again, I can't get everything done. It's not going to be perfect. So I'm just going to make sure to get home at some point here. Clean the CBR really nice clean it really well so it's nice and shiny for tomorrow wax it up you know how it goes so i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a quick storm update like i said it's still kind of chilling around the mountains here i thought it'd be moving in by now because i was pretty certain it was supposed to be at nine o'clock today it was supposed to hit but it's looking uh it's looking definitely safe for me to at least get home so guys one thing i would really like to do is engage with you guys a little bit more and ask what kind of videos you guys would like to see on the channel uh do you like cbr videos like i'm on right now do you like honda grom videos like when I go tear around off-road or just do wheelies uh, do you like when I ride around with my friends do you like tutorials like anything guys just leave a comment let me know if there's anything you'd like to see and I'm gonna try to do my best to meet the standard that you guys are asking for uh, and it's funny that we're talking about this because the other day um, someone actually commented on one of my videos asking that I please start making them longer because he enjoys the videos and just wants to see longer videos if I remembered your username I would shout you out right now I apologize I really don't remember it but then it got me thinking and looking back at all my stuff on my channel and I'm like dang like my videos lately were dropping in in uh in time like it was anywhere from four five six minute videos which really is not very long at the end of the day when people when you guys are coming for content I realized like I gotta at least put up 10 minute videos for you guys so my point being uh this guy wanted something out of the channel he commented and I do read your guys's comments I try to reply to almost all of them and at least heart them all and it made a difference it made something sink in and me realize like yo I need to start making longer videos and that's where I've been it's been like a good week or two probably more like a week where every single one of my videos has been well over 10 minutes so shout out for whoever that was that put me in my place because now we are making solid much longer videos much more enjoyable so again I want you guys to leave a comment let me know what you want to see hey you know what guys I got story time for you um so hey that looks like fun anyway back to story time uh, you see this truck in front of me on my right this big old long flatbed um, this is actually shorter than the story I'm about to tell but there is a video online of a guy there's actually two videos I'll just tell you both the stories as one to save us some time here but there is a truck a big flatbed kind of like this but much taller if I can find them I'll put links in the description but one of the motorcycles legit on the freeway rode underneath this truck like it was tall enough that he could like kind of like do a tuck and go underneath it but he literally like merged and changed lanes under this giant flatbed truck and he did it on purpose which was absolutely insane and then the other story I'm talking about same type of vehicle uh, it was just a big actually you know what no this one was like a semi truck he literally went down on his motorcycle he got speed wobbles and went down on his bike on the freeway and literally ended up sliding underneath the semi truck in traffic and was unharmed like literally just somehow slid right underneath the wheels of the semi truck which is literally mind-boggling how that happens hey look at this we got an i8 on the freeway those rims are pretty sick bro yeah i like it hey someone got pulled over that's no good at least it wasn't me bro Alrighty, guys time update we are probably 10 minutes from my house actually honestly it's probably more like five maybe seven i don't know it's somewhere in there but you can see there's still some storm clouds out here it's looking pretty dark i don't know if this went over me while i was out in scottsdale and i missed the storm but regardless that's perfect because i didn't get hit with any rain but you can see the storm clouds are still kind of uh hanging out over here well i hope you guys enjoyed riding along with me on the cbr go watch more of my videos like the one in the outro peace guys